Hello viewers, welcome to our channel Career Prep. In this video, we'll solve a few problems on the topic profit and loss so that you can have a better understanding of the concept. Since questions based on this topic are most frequently asked in competitive exams, it makes sense to understand the concept well. These questions are the ones where marks can be scored easily if practiced well. Before we begin, please subscribe to our channel. Also press the bell icon to get notifications as soon as we post a new video. So let's start. Arun buys an old scooter for Rs 4700 and spends Rs 800 on its repairs. If he sells the scooter for Rs 5800, what is his gain percent? Here you are given four answer options and you have to find out which of these answer options is the correct one. So here you are asked to find Arun's gain percent. Now you know that gain percent is equal to gain multiplied by 100 divided by cost price. Now since you do not know what is the gain here, first let's find out what is the gain in this transaction. Now it's given that Arun buys an old scooter for Rs 4700 and then spends Rs 800 on its repair. So the cost price of the scooter is 4700 plus 800 which is Rs 5500. It's given that Arun sells the scooter for Rs 5800. So selling price is Rs 5800. We know that gain is equal to selling price minus cost price which is 5800 minus 5500. So gain is rupees 300. Now subs we know that gain is rupees 300 and cost price is rupees 5500. Substituting these values in the formula here we get 300 multiplied by 100 divided by 5500. On solving this we get gain percent as 5, 5 by 11 percent. So the correct answer is option B, 5, 5 by 11%. A person buys an article for rupees 15. After one year, he sells it for rupees 20. After another year, again he buys the same article at rupees 30 and sells it for rupees 40. What is the overall profit percent for that person over both the transactions? So here you are given four answer options and you have to find out which of these answer options is the correct one. So here you are asked to find the overall profit percent. Now you know that gain percent is equal to gain multiplied by 100 divided by cost price. But you do not know what is the gain in this transaction. So first let's find out the value of gain. Now it's given that first a person buys an article for rupees 15 and then after another year he again buys the same article for rupees 30. So total cost price is 15 plus 30 which is rupees 45. Now it's given that the person sells the article for rupees 20 first and then after another year he sells the same article for rupees 40. So total selling price is 20 plus 40 which is rupees 60. Now you know that profit is uh, selling price minus cost price. So total profit is 60 minus 45 which is rupees 15. Now we know that total profit is rupees 15 and total cost price is rupees 45. Now substituting these values in the formula here you can calculate what is the gain percent. So gain percent is equal to 15 multiplied by 100 divided by 45. On solving this, we get gain percent as 33.33%. So the correct answer is option B, 33.33%. A trader sells 85 meters of cloth for rupees 8,925 at the profit of rupees 15 per meter of cloth. What is the cost price of 1 meter of cloth? So here you are given four options and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. So here you are asked to find what is the cost price of one meter of cloth. Now you know that cost price of one meter of cloth is equal to 
selling price of 1 meter of cloth minus profit on 1 meter of cloth now it's given that profit on 1 meter of cloth is rupees 15 now we do not know what is the selling price of 1 meter of cloth so first let's find out the selling price of 1 meter of cloth now it's given that a trader sells 85 meters of cloth for rupees 8925 so selling price of 1 meter of cloth is 8925 divided by 85 which is nothing but rupees 105 so we know that the profit on 1 meter cloth is rupees 15 and selling price of 1 meter of cloth is rupees 105 now substituting these values in the formula here we get cost price of 1 meter of cloth is equal to rupees 105 minus rupees 100 and rupees 15 uh, which is nothing but rupees 90 so the cost price of 1 meter of cloth is rupees 90 the correct answer is option b rupees 90 Arun bought 160 shirts at the rate of rupees 225 per shirt. The transport expenditure was 1400 rupees. He paid an octroi at the rate of rupees 1.75 per shirt and labor charges were rupees 320. What should be the selling price of one shirt if he wants a profit of 20%? So here you are given four options and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. So here you are asked to find the selling price of one shirt. Now you know that uh, selling price is equal to 100 plus gain percent over 100 multiplied by cost price. Now to find the selling price of one shirt, you should know gain percent and cost price of one shirt. Now gain percent is given as 20%. So if you know the cost price of one shirt, then easily you can find out the selling price of one shirt. Now it's given that Arun bought 160 shirts at the rate of rupees 225 per shirt. So each shirt cost rupees 225. Transport expenditure was rupees 1400. Now this transport expenditure of rupees 1400 is for 160 shirts. So for one shirt, the transport expenditure will be 1400 divided by 160. He paid an octroi at the rate of rupees 1.75 per shirt. And labor charges were rupees 320. Now this rupees, uh, the, this labor charge of rupees 320 is for 160 shirts. Now labor charge for one shirt will be rupees 320 divided by 160. So total cost price per shirt is equal to 225 plus 1400 divided by 160 plus 1.75 plus 320 divided by 160. On solving this, we get the total cost price per shirt as rupees 237.5. Now we know that gain percent is 20%. And total cost price per shirt is rupees 237.5. Now substituting these values in the formula here, we get selling price of uh, one shirt is equal to 100 plus 20 percent divided by 100 multiplied by 237.5. That is selling price of one per, uh, selling price of one shirt is equal to 120 multiplied by 237.5 divided by 100. And on solving this, we get the selling price of one shirt as rupees 285. So the correct answer is option D, rupees 285. If the cost price is 25% of the selling price, then what is the profit percent? Here you are given four options and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. So here you are asked to find the profit percent. We know that gain percent is equal to gain multiplied by 100 divided by cost price. Now we do not know the value of gain. So first let's find out what is the gain. Now it's given that the cost price is 25% of the selling price. Now since here the cost price is given in the uh, form of a percent let's assume that the selling price is 100 then cost price will be 
25% of 100 which is 25. Now selling price is 100, cost price is 25. So profit is 100 minus 25 which is 75. Now we know profit is 75 and cost price is 25. Substituting these values in the formula here, we get gain percent is equal to 75 multiplied by 100 divided by 25, which is nothing but 300%. So the correct answer is option C, 300%. If selling price is doubled, the profit triples. Find the profit percent. Here you are given four options and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. So here you are asked to find the profit percent. Now you know that profit percent is equal to profit multiplied by 100 divided by cost price. But you, here you do not know what is the profit, what is the cost price or what is the selling price. So let's assume that the selling price is rupees X and let the cost price be rupees 100. Then profit is equal to selling price minus cost price. So profit is equal to X minus 100. Now it's given that selling price is doubled. So if the selling price is doubled, then uh, the new selling price will be 2X. First it was X, now it will be 2X. So now the selling, uh, new selling price is 2X, cost price is rupees 100. So the new profit is 2X minus 100. Now it's also given that profit triples if selling price is doubled. So this new profit 2X minus 100 is equal to 3 times of the earlier profit that is 3 multiplied by x minus 100. So 3 multiplied by x minus 100 is equal to 2x minus 100. Now on solving this we get x is equal to 200. So selling price is 200, cost price is 100. So profit is 200 minus 100 which is 100. Now we know that profit is 100, cost price is 100. Substituting these values in the formula here, we get profit percent is equal to 100 multiplied by 100 divided by 100, which is nothing but 100%. So the profit percent is 100%. So the correct answer is option A, 100%. A television and a washing machine were sold for rupees 12,500 each. If the television was sold at a gain of 30% and the washing machine at a loss of 30%, find the overall profit percent or loss percent on the entire transaction. Here you are given four options and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. So here you are asked to find the overall profit percent or loss percent on the entire transaction. To do that, you have to know what is the cost price or what is and what is the profit or loss. So to find to find out profit percent or loss percent, let's find out these values first. Now it's given that a television and a washing machine was sold for rupees 12,500 each. So the total selling price is equal to 2 multiplied by 12,500 which is rupees 25,000. Now you know that selling price is equal to 100 plus gain percent divided by 100 multiplied by cost price. Also you know that selling price is equal to 100 minus loss percent divided by 100 multiplied by cost price. Now it's given that the television was sold at a gain of 30%. So gain percent is 30. So 100 plus 30 is 130. It's given that the selling price of the television is rupees 12,500. So now you can easily find out the cost price of the TV. So cost price of TV is equal to 12,500 multiplied by 100 
divided by 130. Now, it's given that the washing machine was sold at a loss of 30%. So, loss percent is 30. So, 100 minus 30 is 70. It's given that the selling price of the washing machine is 12,500 rupees. So, if you substitute these values in the formula here, you can easily find out the cost price of the washing machine. So, cost price of the washing machine is equal to 12,500 multiplied by 100 divided by 70. So, total cost price will be the cost price of the television plus cost price of washing machine. So, total cost price is equal to 12,500 multiplied by 100 by 130 plus 100 by 70. On solving this, we get the total cost price as rupees uh, 25 lakhs divided by 91. Now clearly you can see that the total selling price is rupees 25,000 and total cost price is 25 lakhs divided by 91. So clearly the selling price is less than the cost price. That is, there is a loss. So loss is nothing but cost price minus selling price. So loss is equal to 25 lakhs divided by 91 minus 25,000. On solving this, we get loss as 2,25,000 divided by 91. Now we know that, now we are asked to find the uh, loss percent on the entire uh, profit percent or loss percent on the entire transaction. Since here there is a loss, we have to find the loss percent. So loss percent is equal to loss multiplied by 100 divided by cost price. Now we know the value of uh, cost price and what is the loss. Now substituting these values in the formula here we get loss percent is equal to 2,25,000 divided by 91 multiplied by 100 divided by 25 lakhs divided by 91. So this 91 and 91 will get cancelled and on solving this we get the loss percent as 9%. Now we can solve this uh, same problem using the formula. Now as you can see here the selling price of both the articles is the same. Also, profit percent of one article is the same as the loss percent of the other article. That is 30%. So use the formula loss percent is equal to x by 10 the whole squared percent. Now here x is nothing but 30. So substituting the value in this uh, equation we get loss percent is equal to 30 by 10 the whole squared percent which is nothing but 9%. So loss percent is 9%. So the correct answer is option C, 9% loss. A boy bought a camel and carriage for rupees 5000. He sells the camel at a gain of 20% and the carriage at a loss of 10%. If he gains 3% on the whole, then find the cost of the camel. Here you are given four options and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. So here you are asked to find the cost of the camel. So let the cost of the camel be x. Now it is given that the cost of camel and carriage is rupees 5000. So cost of carriage will be equal to rupees 5000 minus x. Now you know that gain percent is equal to gain multiplied by 100 divided by cost price. This means gain is equal to gain percent multiplied by cost price. Also, you know that loss percent is equal to loss multiplied by 100 divided by cost price. So, loss is equal to loss percent multiplied by cost price. Now, it is given that the boy gains 20% on selling the camel. This means he, his gain is 20% of the cost price of the camel that is 20% of x. It's given that he loses 10% on selling the carriage. This means his loss is 10% of the cost price of the carriage. So it is 10% multiplied by 100 divided by 91. 
multiplied by 5000 minus x but on the whole he gains 3% that is his gain is 3% multiplied by the whole cost that is 5000 that is 3% multiplied by 5000 so now you have the equation 20% of x minus 10% of 5000 minus x is equal to 3% of 5000 on solving this equation we get x is equal to uh, 2166.67 that is the cost of the camel is rupees 2166.67 which is approximately equal to rupees 2170 so the correct answer is option a 2170 viewers please go through this video till you have understood the concept clearly practice more such problems to increase your speed and also to understand the concept clearly please do watch our video profit and loss solved problems part 2 if you have liked this video please like subscribe and share this video thank you